Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, you will learn about the development of new gametophyte and the life cycle of sphagnum. In the previous video, you learned about the sporophyte development and structure of sphagnum. Okay, what was the product of that sporophytic generation? It was the production of haploid spores. Right, within what? Within the capsule of the sporophyte. Okay, so now let's begin today's video. Now see here, as soon as the spore is formed, the sporophytic phase ends and the gametophytic phase begins. So we can say that the spore is the first cell of the gametophytic generation, right? Now see the figure number A. What you find here, this is the structure of a spore. This spore has distinct triradiate ridge. You can find here three ridges, okay, and the ridges are distinct here, one, two and three okay it is having three ridges now the wall of the spore contains two layers right the outer one is the exine and the inner one is the intine okay now the spores will germinate within two to three days or they may remain viable for about four to six months okay as soon as the spore falls on a moist substratum it germinates to develop a small thalloid pro primary protonema okay here you see in the figure B the spore germinates okay and in the figure C what you see that this spore the germinating spore will develop into a structure like this which is known as primary protonema okay it is a small thalloid structure now further development of the protonema produces a prostrate green irregularly lobed one celled thick thalloid structure which will be attached to the substratum by multicellular rhizoids. Now, this point is clearly seen in figure number D. Okay, the protonema will develop and it will form an irregularly lobed structure like this, okay, which will be the gametophytic plant. Now, a single bud is developed from the marginal cell of the primary protonema. Okay, one of the bud will uh, develop. Uh, in in here and it will uh, develop into a leafy gametophyte like this okay so it was about the development of new gametophyte in sphagnum now let's see the life cycle you see here the life cycle alternates between two generations one is the gametophytic and the other is the sporophytic since these two generations are morphologically different okay and they alter between one another so we call this life cycle to be heteromorphic alternation of generation now let's see with the start of gametophytic generation see the gametophytic generation begins with the development of a spore okay then what will happen the spore will germinate okay it will form a protonema the protonema will develop further to form the adult gametophytic plant okay now the adult gametophytic plant will produce the female sex organ archegonium and the male sex organ anthridium right the archegonium will form egg the female gamete and antridium will form sperm or anthrozoids the male gamete okay after that what will happen the male and the female gamete will fuse and it will result in the fertilization process as a result of fertilization what we get we get a diploid zygote with the development of a zygote the gametophytic phase ends and the sporophytic phase begins after that what happens the zygote will divide okay and it will form a embryo the embryo will be first filamentous okay and then it will develop into a young embryo like this the young embryo will again further divide and they will form the mature sporophyte the mature sporophyte contains three parts foot and inconspicuous seta and a large capsule okay the capsule has a spore sac inside and the spore sac will enclose a number of spores okay so it, uh, it will having the spore mother cells which will undergo meiosis and they form spores okay so we can say that zygote is the beginning of sporophytic generation okay so is this clear to you all i hope it is and uh, with this we end up the uh, discussions on sphagnum i hope all the topics are clear to you all in the next video i will come up with a new genus and if you're viewing my videos and if you like it then please subscribe to my channel and share it among your friends Thank you very much.